What's the deal, Big Boss, Cake Po, Talk Boxer? We back to back to back with content. I told y'all, I was going to probably take a week off, but I said F it. Terrence Crawford says he doesn't know if Errol Spence will reactivate the rematch clause. Let's talk about it. I guess my real question that I have is do y'all think y'all spend so to make the rematch class? Now I've asked this question. I think I asked the question a different way. I said, should y'all spend so rematch class profit? You know, I got mixed results. Yes, no. I got mixed results, right? Um, a lot of people are just trying to, like, do away with him because they don't want to see him climb back to the top. He going to climb back. You know, it just is what it is, man. Um, I think this though. I think El Spence gonna activate that rematch clause. Me knowing the type of dude he is, just his mentality. I don't know him personally, but just based off of me knowing who he is, based off his actions, he gonna he gonna activate that rematch clause whenever he's eligible to do so. Right? Uh, I don't think he's eligible yet to September. So when September come around and he's cleared. He gonna activate that rematch clause. The nigga, the nigga face already back to normal. You know what I mean? Like, it's crazy. <laughs> the nigga face already back to normal, man. The nigga, the nigga don't even look like he been fighting. You know what I mean? He out there in Spain chilling with his gal. You know what I mean? So I think that Earl will activate that rematch clause. I also think this. And him losing may have been a positive. Hear me out. The reason why I say that is this. When you undefeated, right, you have a lot of pressure. You want to try to remain undefeated. You know, you want to keep your you want to keep your record unblemished, right? But when you finally lose, it's like oh, all that pressure is gone. Now you like shit. Go for broke. I already lost, so you know, hey, it is what it is. You know, my L is gone. You know what I mean? You I mean my O gone. You took my O. You know what I'm saying? So now I can get in here and really do the fool. Ain't no really no pressure no more. I already took an L. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm saying is this. This loss may be a blessing in disguise for L Spence. Especially at a high weight. So all I'ma say, I ain't finna go in detail about it. Just wait and see. <laughs> That's all I can say. This is what I believe. This loss may be a blessing in disguise. This man may pop up, activate the rematch clause at 154, which they already had scheduled. And May come in there and you may see a whole different L Spence than you saw in the first fight. You know what I mean? Or Terrence may beat him again. You don't know. You know? Now, like I said, going into the fight, I would favor Terrence because of his last performance. I'm not going to lie to you and sit here and say that. I would favor Terrence Crawford because of his last performance against L Spence. But I'm here to tell you, I'm not going to bet all my chips on Terrence Crawford to beat L Spence again. I think I got the same mindset I had for the first fight, for the second fight. The only difference is now I'm saying that the roles are reversed. You know, because you know the first fight, I was like, hey, if Terrence, I'm picking L, but if Terrence does this, he can win this fight. Well, now I'm picking Terrence, but I'm saying L Spence fight smarter. Don't wait on Terrence. He can win this fight. You know what I mean? That's what I believe. And y'all know me on my channel, Keep It A Thousand. I've always said that it's not going to be the size of Errol Spence that's going to be a factor in beating Terrence Crawford. I've told you that. I've held on to that stance. Nobody's ever heard me say that, oh, because Errol Spence is big, he going to beat Terrence Crawford. That's not what I said. I said I believe it's going to be the skill set of Errol Spence, and I still believe that. 
That's just what I believe. Ain't nothing you can do to change it. Eric Spence is very fundamentally sound. You know, he wasn't fundamentally sound that night. He had a bad day at the office. Preferably, you want to have those type of days in the gym, not in that ring. You know what I'm saying? When it count. But, hey, it is what it is. He had it in that ring for whatever reason. So now, at a high weight class, some people feel like Errol shouldn't fight Terrence again. But Errol Spence a man. He stand on his team. You know, and I had the same mindset. If I lost to somebody and I got a rematch clause, I'm going to activate that joker. Now, I get it if there was no rematch clause in place. And, yeah, I, I want a rematch. It's like, bro, like, you know. But we have a rematch clause. You know, so 154 is not for any belts or anything. So it's just a matter of y'all just fighting just to be fighting. You know, so I, I I like that aspect. I like, you know, you know, it's gonna be a good scrap. You know, like I said before, I would favor Terrence, but if Earl get in there, focus and do what he's supposed to do, he should be Terrence Crawford. That's just what it is, in my opinion. If he come in there and focus and fundamentally sound, he should be Terrence Crawford. But it was a life. It was a learning lesson. For Errol, it was a learning lesson for Derek James. You know what I mean? About Terrence Crawford. You know what I mean? The thing is, are they going to learn from this? And are they going to make those adjustments? You know what I mean? That's the thing, right? Terrence Crawford came in prepared. You know, overly prepared. That's just what it is. He came in overly prepared. And he was able to capitalize, you know, can Errol do the same thing in a second fight, we'll find out, y'all let me know what y'all think, boss count.